So other issues now, especially looking at the cashless economy. And amidst uh, the cash crunch stiffening the economy, President Mohamed Buhari has assured Nigerians that within seven days, he will resolve the Naira scarcity that has become a problem across the country. He said this while speaking, with, uh, speaking to the Progressive Governors Forum, who paid him a visit at the presidential villa on Friday to seek solutions to the cash scarcity which they said was threatening the good records of the administration in transforming the economy. The pan-Yoruba social political organization, Afeniferi, has stated that the seven-day request made by the president to resolve the cash crunch problem in the country was too long, saying the twin problem of fuel and narrow note scarcity has made lives of many Nigerians miserable. And joining us to further discuss this is Dr. Dayo Kayade, political technocrat. Good morning, Dr. D. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. I hope you have cash on you, sir. I'm sure you know the answer to that because apparently we're all in the same boat. Honestly, honestly. It's a sad situation. How have you been coping? Well, through the grace of God, I've been coping. I've been coping through the grace of God. And uh, thank God, I have some good people around me mm. who, who have been uh, pushing me out. Mm. But, but uh, apparently, a lot of Nigerians can't say the same because they're going through the harrowing experience. But now, the, no, I, the, 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 the first citizen of the country. I'm sure it's really having a lot of better ones in his pocket. Mm. The, the first citizen of the country, President Buhari, has said that in seven days he would resolve all of the fuel scarcity problem and that of the cash scarcity. How, do you, how does this news come to you? Well, you know, you know, you know the president has been known for his material statements since, uh, since uh, he assumed power. Remember, when the first of all came in, he was telling us that ministers will come, ministers will come, and we waited for how many how many months before he could even put up about his six cabinet, months. Mm. His cabinet. He also said that see, we are going to finish Boko Haram, all these insurgents and all that in three months. By December, you can you can imagine by from May December to end of December. They say couldn't. And Lai Mohammed, sorry, did I say liar? No, no, I didn't say liar. Lai Mohammed, I said. That's a D. <laughs> that these, these people have been technically, what do you mean by that? And so many other statements that I had made, but unfortunately, he couldn't do them, except just one electoral laws. Mm. Okay? But, coming to this now, look at. Is it, is it Nigeria that we that we be the first country to change currency? Presently now, presently now, uh, uh, UK is trying to change its currency. Do you hear anything? Mm. If only if, if, if you are not a news hunter, you will know. In Nobody fact, knows they, they are going to phase it out right? within several years. It's not going to be a spontaneous or rapid decision. That's for the UK. Sure. Mm. You should remember uh, on this same your platform when uh, immediately mooted the idea and he was talking about three months. I said, Kai, immediately is supposed to be an international man and he must have been attending meetings with other, other governors of uh, other countries' uh, central bank. Have we ever seen anywhere? Whether I did see being done within three months? No. The least we see is a three months, which is one and a half years. Mm. And I was proposing then that because because of our inexperience, because of our inadequacies, let us have this thing done within a period of two years. But they will never listen. See where we are now. But then, honestly speaking, I am, I am I am never disappointed too because this is what our president is known for. Confusion everywhere. Look at when he was the military head of state, eighty four or thereabouts. Look at the confusion he caused in the country. The same thing is 
is happening now. So the, the, the only thing the only thing I will say on this is that Nigeria should Nigeria we should just be patient. How many how many months is it remaining for him to live? Mm. How many months is it remaining for him to live? All we just need to do now is to ensure that we 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 use our PVC to bring in an experience. But the and, question is uh, with Nigerians. Uh, 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 a passion, a passion leader that will be able to amend all the problems that, that are caused Nigeria. To Nigeria come in there, the would, would Nigerians be able to survive the next three months of this administration? So many right, people are already right. dying. You know, actually. We, Nigerians, we Nigerians, we are we are always very very resilient when it comes to issues like this. Okay. We can always manage. Doctor, I mean, we are always be managing situations, even though this one seems so excruciating. Hmm. Just as when uh, when the structural adjustment program was introduced by, I think it will be for like during the uh, uh, I mean during the uh, I think the Bangida regime or so. You know, so oh, there's nothing we can do other than you know, if that happens, we should go to the street. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you two, two, two serious implications. If you are saying we are going to be on the streets, number one. All right, Doctor D, we don't have much time. Let me quickly it, ask it, you it, a it, question. Number one, it is we, the people, that are killing ourselves. Number two, we will be giving a signal to the military to even take over. All right, so Dr. D. Now is to rock Nigeria to just relax and manage ourselves until we leave the office. Then we can all start on a new slate. All right, Dr. D. Let me quickly ask you a question before we wrap up because we have uh, just uh, less than two minutes to go. Looking at the situation of things before now, which of course you alluded to that. The president has been very slow about everything he does, especially with regards to appointment of his uh, nominees and, of course, swinging into action and all of that. Now, looking at the Naira redesign policy and the effect it's having on Nigerians, we could see that he quickly swung into action to help, you know, make this thing more, you know, better for Nigerians, especially with access to cash. Don't you think that we should start being optimistic about the outcome of this deadline that he has given? There is, there is nothing like uh, being uh, optimistic about anything. Nothing. Because even the point, even the point, can you see the role? The role that uh, the POS operators are playing? Can you see the role that bank managers are playing? Can you see the role that government officials are playing? Can you see the role the so-called, the so-called wicked leaders are playing? So you think there is no the hope in sight? We are the ones modeling of this Naira. We don't allow it to get to the people. Okay, listen. You say, okay, give us, give us uh, uh, the report on how you have been discussing this money. How many of them have been giving CBN the report? How many of them are the CBN uh, punished? The body. So, what are you talking about? So, what are you talking about? No matter what he is saying, not until when rest time come to Nigeria, then nobody, nobody is going to be living. Mm. Nobody is going to be living. Tell me, he made his declaration on on Wednesday. On Wednesday, the Yoruba we said that I can't wait. Tell me, I'm not there. It's no easy. That is to say, is there a reference to be coming to people? It hasn't been coming nada. All right, Dr. D, we'll have to leave it on that note. There's still so much to talk about, but we're really pressed for time. But we do appreciate you for sharing your thoughts with us on the show. We'll take a break now. We'll be back to focus on today's International Day for Zero Tolerance to Female Genital Mutilation. Stay with us.